right. Hi, all, and welcome to Lunchtime Topics. I am Kate with the Creative Coast. We are a 501c3 nonprofit located here in beautiful Savannah, Georgia, and we exist to catalyze the innovation economy on the coast of Georgia. So we achieve this through several means, um, our social and educational programming for, for one, like, like this one that you're watching. Um, if this is your first time tuning in, Lunchtime Topics is a program that features a business expert who shares their wisdom with the local startup and innovative community. And so this episode's guest is Pedro Gonzalez. Pedro is the president and founder of Talent MBA, a company he's recently launched. And he's gonna tell us a little bit more about that in a minute, um, but a little bit more about him. He has over 20 years of work experience in professions of university admissions, MBA career services and corporate talent management. And so through that, he's developed an expertise in a variety of talent management streams, especially uh, talent acquisition, talent management, and career mapping for early career and midlife career stages. So um, we're excited to have him today to share his expertise with our community of business founders and leaders. And so we're just going to jump right into it. First of all, thank you for being here, Pedro. We're glad to have you on. Thank you, Kate. Glad to be here as well. Uh, so tell us more about Talent, talent MBA. What is it? Yeah, Talent MBA is a business service that connects our clients, which are startups, accelerators, uh, venture capital firms, connects them with MBA students that are looking for internships within the entrepreneurial ecosystem. So essentially, we are a recruiting partner to our clients when it comes to sourcing and vetting internship candidates. Um, I would also add that our focus has been and will be the summer cycle, but we're gonna be expanding to include year round internships. So any client of ours that says, hey, we'd like to have someone do some work for us in the fall or the spring semester, as long as that could be done remotely uh, and on a part-time basis, that's another opportunity we'll be able to assist our, our clients. Great. Um, so you said summer cycle. I'm assuming that's like, when does that kind of start? Is that like May or when do people start looking? I know here we start getting emails as soon as like January and February. Yeah. Um, what's, can you kind of explain what that is? Sure. So MBA students are going to be looking at summer internships that typically start late May, early June is usually the, the traditional start time going into 10, 12, 13 weeks for the summer working full-time. So they start that process. It could be as early as the, the late fall of their first year as an MBA student, uh, or uh, more likely around early part of January, February, when the MBA students start looking for internships. Obviously, employers will need to start as early or as late as they can or need to, uh, but I think it really comes down to January through, I would say much of April is the the most busy recruitment season for internships for the summer. Okay, cool. Um, so I always ask this question. It's important. It's your why. Why do you do what you do? And so tell us um, more about your background and why you're passionate about this particular topic. Why, why did you start Talent MBA, really? Yeah, Talent MBA became a, a real opportunity for me when I thought about what could be next for me in terms of my career. And so I think for me, I saw a business need for creating an opportunity where MBA students could get connected to startup internships or internships with young companies. Uh, that's an area where many MBA students are expressing an interest in, but it's hard for them to find that. So that was the main rationale. And then there's just a true business case for creating this type of service for, for the startup industry because... Gosh, I think in 2022, um, there was uh, $330 billion infused into the um, U.S. market by venture capital. And so that's the reason why startups are doing what they're doing and young companies are growing because of that continued interest in being innovative. So there is that rationale there for creating the business that serves that, that, that sector. Um, in terms of my background, it really comes down to the roles that I've had in higher education and the roles that I've had in the corporate world. So those two areas of knowledge and, and I guess, you know, experience is really what informed me that Talent MBA would make a good 
choice for the type of business besides the business, but more importantly, why I think I would be good at what I'm doing in terms of the talent MBA creation and working with MBA students has always been something very special because these are young professionals, you know, at the prime of their lives, trying to recreate and reinvent themselves for what lies next. That's a very important space to be in. And so working with that population and working with the startup world and the venture capital world is really what encompasses all that talent MBA is. And so working in career management and working in the corporate sector, those two things have really informed me why talent MBA could be a good service for, for businesses. Awesome. Lovely. So uh, on your website, you have this five-step process for connecting employers to the right candidate. Um, could you walk us through what that is like for anybody interested to learn more about that? Sure. The first step is really about the position description. And this is essentially when we're in the stage of securing a client or exploring an opportunity with a client. And so that position description is about defining the project scope of the internship, um, identifying key deliverables of that project for this internship, and of course, the candidate criteria. Um, we use this information because it's important for us to represent accurately and, and, and really well the clients when we're talking to prospective students. And some clients have a really good job description already, which is a good start. <laughs> and sometimes they need a little bit of help with that first step. Uh, the second uh, step is really about um, engaging with the clients directly and having a deeper dive on what is it about this internship that is going to be business critical, right? So yes, we have the position description, which is great, but tell us a little bit more why this is important. Um, so sometimes it's not what's in the position description that's really a priority of how you assess potential candidates for any position. So we want to get that conversation going with the client and make sure that we have all the information ready. So that third step then is about operating the interview process uh, by starting with the vetting and sourcing of the students on the Talent MBA platform. So the Talent MBA platform is where the students go, they create a profile, obviously they upload their resume, but they're also answering some questions about their background and their professional interests. And we pull the six candidates from that platform that are best matched for this specific opportunity. And then the interview process begins with step number four. We do the first round interviews with those six candidates through Talent MBA. We then share that information with our clients. And then they say, okay, we'd like these three to be the finalists. We then do second round interviews with those finalists through Talent MBA, and then send it back to the client so that they can do internal interviews with those three finalists and come up with a hiring decision. So we really have streamlined that process to make it as efficient as possible for our clients. I would also add that um, one of the things that we do offer is that we have a, um, a tool on our platform that allows us to document the workflow uh, process for making an offer. So all the right stakeholders are looking at the same information for that opportunity that's being extended, start date, end date, stipend amount, right? So that when the offer is made, it's all captured accurately. Gotcha. Great. So it's a very thorough process. Yes. <laughs> it takes time. Um, so what are the benefits of working with an organization like Talent MBA? I imagine like you just talked about that five-step process. I imagine it could take even longer for a company to, you know, do that themselves. And then also they could do it too fast and not get the right candidate. The, the, it could be the wrong match. Right. So, but, but from your standpoint, what are the benefits of working with Talent MBA? When I think of that question, which is a great question, Kate, is I have to think of the main beneficiaries. The first are the, the clients, right? Second would be the students, and then third would be the business schools. So when we're talking about the clients, the primary benefit to your point is they get to accomplish something in a condensed amount of time. So they do the hiring through that condensed uh, process that I explained because recruiting is very labor intensive. It's also time consuming. 
And we want to be able to accelerate and provide a value add service to our clients when it comes to the internship hiring process. Uh, the ad, other added benefit that I would say that is part of that for our clients is that get, they get to access a very talent, a very proven talent pool, right? MBA students on average have four, maybe five years of work experience. So they bring that industry knowledge, they bring that functional expertise that they can use to contribute day one on that internship. Um, for the students, I would say the benefits are that they get to have access to an otherwise fragmented job market or maybe even hidden job market. Um, and that it provides a sort of you know, entree into these internships with these really cool companies trying to solve some really cool problems and disrupting you know, industries, if you will. And what MBA wouldn't want to do that? Um, the other part of the benefit for a student to be part of Talent MBA is that they'll have a chance to participate with webinars that we host. Uh, we invite speakers to come and speak to students on the Talent MBA platform on career topics that deal with working with a startup, uh, working with a venture capital firm. Um, and as far as the third beneficiary, the business schools themselves, is that they get to offer a supplemental resource, which is free, um, to students who are considering career opportunities within the startup uh, landscape. So those are the three beneficiaries, and that's, I think, how they benefit most. Great. Um, so you, another thing you mentioned um, on your website is that the candidate, candidate pool is made up of first year MBA students. Why is that? Yeah, why, why those first year students? Um, I think it's primarily based on the fact that most business schools either certainly encourage or even require their MBA students to do a summer internship as part of their, their education. Mm -hmm. And so that in of itself is a compelling reason. Um, and I think the other thing is that internships are really the gateway to what that career next step could look like for any student, but especially an MBA student. And, you know, the internship is something that is really important for MBAs. So they're really going to be looking for those types of opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, Think about it. There are thousands of MBA students who are looking for internships every year, specifically in the summer. This is a very valuable and robust talent pool. What growth-minded company wouldn't want to hire from that? So that's the compelling reason why it's first-year MBA students. I would also add, Kate, that while we are certainly focused on internships being the main deliverable of what we provide to our clients. We do anticipate that there'll be some clients on a case-by-case -case basis who want to tap into Talent MBA for full-time hiring, still from the same population of MBA students, but looking at something where it's a more of a direct hire. And we are happy to entertain that on a case-by-case -case basis with clients. So that's another win-win for both parties there. Another advantage is you can end up, and I think a lot of people may hope this for their internship is if I can just land this full-time job, that's so much easier than going out and having to start the job hunt after I you know, graduate. And I, that makes perfect sense. Awesome. That's really cool. Yeah. So you, you talked a bit about payment on your website and the importance of companies paying interns. Could you talk about that and the benefits of pay, um, paying hired candidates? Yeah, so we really want to encourage all of the clients that we work with to pay a, I think, a, a, a competitive enough stipend. So when we're talking to a client, you know, it really has to be a paid internship. We want to be respectful of the talent and the experience that any MBA brings to any sort of project work that they do, um, particularly for a company that's trying to become, you know, bigger and successful financially. But having said that, it's very clear that we're not trying to draw a line in the sand of you have to compete with a Fortune 500 company in terms of stipend amount. That is not realistic. And quite frankly, our students are not going to be seeking an internship with a startup or a young company 
just to get paid well. They're going to be looking for the experience of what they're going to gain from the totality of that internship. So we are looking at obviously coaching and informing our clients what would be a, a good stipend amount. So it's not obviously way crazy that you're trying to compete with an investment bank or a Fortune 500 company, but you're landing somewhere where it's going to be enough of a stipend that the students are going to feel like they're being valued without necessarily, you know, going too overboard with the budgets that many of the startups have. Right. That makes sense. I mean, it's got to be the, the sweet spot there because, you know, students, if you're in school, you're thinking about the, and getting your MBA, you're thinking about student loans too, and how you're <laughs> going to have to pay those back. And also you probably had to pay rent. You've got things to take yes. care of. Um, but at the same time, yeah, like, you know, in the startup world, you're going to, you know, not maybe not be able to pay top dollar right off the bat. So that makes sense. Um, okay, so on the, can we talk more about the student candidate side of things and what that vetting and hiring process is like? Yeah, for the students, I think it's pretty straightforward in terms of the registration process on the Talent MBA platform. What we're asking them to do, quite frankly, is just go to the platform, upload their resume, but also answer some questions about their background. Um, you know, their interests in terms of per, uh, career direction. And there's a qualitative question that we like to ask that adds another dimension to them in terms of their motivation and their, their sort of mindset as a professional, uh, which we look at when we look to do the vetting process and sourcing process. Um, then when they're hopefully in a, you know, a candidate, you know, uh, engagement with a client, we are going to be providing them with interviewing experience through Talent MBA, through the first round interviews, and then the second round interviews. Um, and then I think the reality is that, you know, everything is virtual now. So we're going to be doing 99% of the interviews are going to be done virtually. So I think a lot of MBA students are getting good coaching and good advice from their career centers of how to be effective in that sort of, you know, technology space, which is great. Uh, but for all the finalists, the three finalists who make it to the very end, we do offer as an option to them feedback that we can provide on what we observe to be good parts of their interview performance and maybe one or two areas of improvement. Um, we think this feedback is important because I think the MBA students, as I mentioned earlier, they're at a really critical part of their development. And so any information they can use to just become a better version of where they want to go and what they want to do is really important to prepare them for that next interview that they're doing. Got it. So okay, as an entrepreneur yourself, you've started Talent MBA. What has been most enjoyable for you about launching Talent MBA? I would say it's as simple as having the conversations that I've had with the startups, the venture capital firms, um, hearing the the inspiration be, behind why they started a company as a founder is is very i think uh inspiring for me um that's what makes the startup world very compelling and necessary you have all these folks who are trying to solve a problem or improve something and that's a, an important i think engine that keeps any economy but certainly the u.s economy as relevant and as competitive as possible. So I'm, I'm glad to be part of that conversation as their journey still unfolds. Um, I think for me personally, it's also been enjoyable because I am seeing how the challenge that I put on myself to become an entrepreneur and, and create this business, I'm learning about a network and an industry that I didn't know about. It's relatively unexplored territory for me. So I'm enjoying that learning curve and the facets of that. So I'd also be remiss that by not mentioning the work that I'm doing with the students themselves, right? So whether we're talking to the students through the webinars that we're doing at different schools, or obviously getting to know them through the interview process, I'm really enjoying hearing their stories about why they're interested in this particular internship or why they're interested in the startup community. Um, I've worked with MBA students for 15 plus years, but getting a chance to do this across the country for a very specific 
sector of the, the, of the economy, which is very dynamic, seeing these students who've self-selected themselves saying, this is something I want to do, I'm glad I have a foot still in that, that side of the business to stay engaged with the students. It's going to be really rewarding too when you have that right match and it's going really well, you know, like that, that's got to be a great feeling. So yeah, um, it is. All right. So we're almost wrapping up here, but I've got a couple more questions for sure. you. So um, thinking about, you know, the client side you talked about and you talked about the student side, how was Talent MBA paid during the process? Sure. Our clients pay us, right? So the clients that say, we want to use your services to find us the next great, you know, intern for our, for our enterprise. Um, so it's a retainer fee, uh, pretty much like an executive search model where for a fee, we will start the process. And so it's a, a process that incorporates all the things I mentioned. We're going to be sourcing, we're going to be vetting, and we're going to be doing the interviewing assessment so that the client ends up with a very curated uh, you know, population of finalists that have really been vetted throughout that whole process. Um, so it's a flat fee that we do. Um, we're introducing some pricing models now that we're gonna be doing year round internships. Um, so we're gonna be doing some introductions of what the price would be if it's a full-time summer intern and also for a year in semester internship. So some of those pricings will be a little bit less than others, given where we're going to be going with that particular type of search. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm a company, I'm a student. Where can I go to learn more information and, and sign up? Sure. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, Talent-mba.com is our, our website. And so as a client, you can certainly go there and submit a uh, request for a free consultation, just kind of see where things are for you and your team. And uh, that's a great way to start. I'd love to learn, as I mentioned earlier, your story about creating your business and where you want to take that. Um, and then the second way for, for, for students themselves is doing the same thing. You know, when we reach out to students, we always direct them to the website so that they can request to be uh, part of the platform. And then they get that special link and they go over there and create a profile. And then hopefully we'll be reaching out to them for some of the opportunities we work on. Great, sounds simple. Um, well, thank you for being here today. Um, if, again, um, if you want to check out Talent MBA, it was talent-mba.com. <laughs>